Yeah, thanks for popping back to 10 Photo Cycling, and today we're going to do a bit of a tackback video. It's on the Crompler messenger bag that I did a previous video on, and I had some feedback on that video, and people were saying, hey, look, you didn't show us how you actually wear it, what the extra strap does, what you can fit in it. A lot of people ask, can I fit iPads in it, and all those sorts of other gears that you normally use that you carry with you. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to revisit that video and do the Crumpler Comfort Zone bag number two and include some of that stuff that I missed out last time that people have asked for. So let's jump into the video and let's roll that intro. As you can see here, I've just got the comfort zone bag on me. This is the top strap, as you can see here. Now this top strap here is quite fat and goes around and it's held on with some Velcro. And this top strap gives you quite a lot of support across the shoulder. The bag can't actually fit a hell of a lot, but if you actually are putting fairly heavy stuff in, like I usually carry cameras and stuff like that around, which weigh a reasonable amount of weight, it, uh, it does add to the comfort. As you can see here, the bag needs to go on your right hand side. You can't wear it the other way around. I, I'm left handed and I would actually like to be able to swap sides, but I can't because of the way the, the bag's made and you'll realise why that is in a moment. So as you can see here, it can be held on the side or I like to actually have it around the back like this. So if you see there, you can actually see it's around the back. Now it has a number of straps. It has this strap here that I'm, which is like an extra strap, as you can see, comes across the other way around my body and there's a clip provided for you to put that in on the bag. We'll just unclip that so we'll undo that so there you go. Now the bag just pops off like this over your shoulder like a normal shoulder messenger bag. But what's different is that clip that I just undid. So let's just go through the little bits and pieces on the bag. Okay on the bag here we have the two straps. There's, there's a one clip here and one clip here and the clip here, and the clip here for securing it. But for people who are obviously messengers, and they want to work quickly, they actually provide you with Velcro. So there's Velcro in there like that. So you can just lift it up, you can just whack it down, push it down like that, and it will stay in place. You just think of it, because there's nothing in it, it's just folding over. But yeah, you can do that. The bag also has, as I showed you, this extra clip here, which is for your suspension clip, which gives it extra, extra security and holds it in place when you actually have it over your shoulder. There's actually a, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a little uh, cam type device. It can just be lifted up like this. It's, it's very quick and neat to use. And at the bottom here, there's like a, a tag which you can see which is the tail of it. So you use this extra bit to make it longer and shorter. So that can be adjusted pretty quickly. What you can also do as well, is you can actually unstrap this top bit like this. Just pop that to the side for a moment. And then you can actually get this top bit and fold it over like this. So you can make it a lot, lot shorter and use it like a handbag. So there you go, you can hold it like that, so then you can actually walk upstairs and walk with it and hold it like a bag. I don't normally use it in this manner because obviously I'm not an actual messenger, I'm just a cyclist, so I tend to just have it over my shoulder. Now, why I bought this bag is predominantly for this extra strap, this extra strap here that comes off. You can see that it fits around the main strap and comes off like that. Now if I put this on, I'll just show you. So I'll put this on here, so that's on like a normal bag, and then you've got this actual extra dangling bit here, right? So when you put that on like that, and you put the bag around the back, you actually look for an extra piece that's here. And then this piece here goes around the back and clips in like that. And then you can, there's got an adjustment there, you can make it nice and tight, make it nice and tight on your body. So it holds it all in place. So there you go. So you can see that you've got the clip there, the clips in, and you have the main strap there. 
Now what this basically does is it gives you that extra security. So when the bag, when you're riding it, it doesn't spin. And if you get up out of the saddle, it doesn't swing around your body to the front like most bags do, like most messenger bags do. It holds it on the back really, really secure. You can run on with this thing on, you can cycle with this thing on, you can get out the saddle. It works really good at doing its job and securing the bag in position. And even if it's heavy, it, actually the more stuff you have in it, actually now you can kind of swing it. But when you put more stuff in it, it actually secures it actually better. Yeah, so I had quite a few questions about what can you put in this? What can you fit in this bag? Now, the bag is not really that big. They, I remember they do make bigger ones with the same design, so you can actually purchase a bigger one. This one, if I remember correctly, was the smallest one, and I specifically wanted it small. I didn't want to have like a big bag because I can use a backpack for that. So I wanted this one to be like, you know, just chuck a couple of things in it, jump on your bike, you can shoot down the shops or whatever, or if you're going to do a photo shoot, you can just ride wherever you want to go and you've got your photo and your little bits and pieces in it. So that's what I designed it for. Now, a lot of people ask, can you fit you know, an iPad in it or a laptop? Now, I basically tried to do that and fit it in. Now, my iPad, which is a 12.9 inch with a case on, will not go in. It, you can actually start to get it in, but where it actually tapers with the stitching here, it actually stops it. So if you've got a 12.9 laptop or iPad, it will not fit. If you've got a smaller one, which is I think is 9.7 or something like that, the smaller ones will fit. And obviously a mini iPad will as well. So if you've got a smaller type device, it'll fit in fine. It actually has a number of compartments. If I can turn it inside out, I'll show you those compartments. Now, it hasn't got many this one, it's, which is what I like. It's, it's nice and neat, you can just chuck stuff in. It's got like a little, a, Lex, a little piece here where you can put like a phone or something like that, something small maybe, you know, um, your, your credit card or something that's not too wide. So like a mobile phone, credit card, or just um, your wallet could go in this part and it secures it so it's not floating around on the bottom. So that's actually pretty good, but it's basically, Basically, if you look at it, it's just one great big hole in there. Okay, so you just chuck your stuff in and you've got to organise it yourself. There's no, not much organisation within the bag. So that's about it. I hope that actually explains a lot of the other stuff that, that people ask for, which I didn't put in the last video. I must apologise for that. I did do the video and I just got it. And I just put that video out and, and probably I should have planned the video a little bit more about what people may want about a bag, how does it fit, what, what this is a special messenger bag and what it does. I, I did kind of assume that anyone who was buying a product like this would know what those extra straps were for, but apparently it seems that they didn't. Now, one thing that you do need to be careful of, which I'll show you, is, and I did, and I did this, is that when you put it on, over your over your your head, right? And you've got quite a few things like it's it's probably filled to capacity, and you go to get this extra strap here, this one that goes around the front, and clip it in. What you do is is because you're pulling it tight, you actually can catch your t-shirt or your top, and you and when you clip it in, these clips are really well made, which I mentioned in the last video. They're made like of that nylon type reinforced plastic, and they're quite quite strong and powerful. And when you clip it in, they actually catch your shirt and you can actually put a hole in your shirt. So just be aware of that when you're clipping it in. Just take that few extra moments and time to clip it in so it don't catch your shirt. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for popping in again. I hope that uh, sews up anything about the bag that I missed last time. If you have any more questions about the bag, let me know and I will cover that in a future video. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to subscribe and also to follow.